How is it going, everyone? The PlayStation Store is currently running its Golden Week sale as well as its May Savings sale. A ton of great deals available. Time to look at deals under $10. We got a ton of games here, so uh, we'll get through all of them relatively quickly. We'll try to go game to game pretty quickly. Um, you know, the list is in the description box below, and we will save the PlayStation Plus Extra titles for the end of this video, but they still deserve a mention, so we'll get to that at the end. But first of all, Resident Evil. Give some Resident Evil some love. Resident Evil 2 is 75% off for $9.99. I also want to give a shout to Resident Evil Revelation, 65% off for $6.99. Resident Evil 2 is a tremendous remake that was really the standard bearer for Resident Evil remakes until RE4 came out. Like, I'm a side with RE4, but guess what? A lot of the people that worked on the RE2 remake also worked on the RE4 remake, so you can see that quality shine through. Resident Evil 2 is really good, and by the way, it has a really solid PlayStation 5 upgrade as well. Fantastic game, a little bit on the shorter side, you know what to expect out of Resident Evil, but for $9.99, I think this is a great pickup. Resident Evil Revelations, on the other hand, pretty underrated game in my opinion. This is a game that initially came out on the Nintendo 3DS. Really, a lot of people saw it as a bit of a system seller for that console, uh, handheld, I should say, and um, it played great on there, but then they ported it on over, I believe it was PlayStation 3, Xbox Xbox 360 and PC initially, then it got a PS4 and a Xbox One release. Nonetheless, yes, does the game um, falter from a technical side of things, given that it is initially a 3DS game? Sure, but it's still a pretty solid Resident Evil game, all things considered. The atmosphere is still great, the gameplay is good, and for $6.99, I think this is a great buy and definitely one I would recommend. Next up, JRPG fans should have Tales of Vesperia Definitive Edition on their radar. 84% off for $7.99. Look, I am probably a broken record with how many times I have recommended this game, but it is a fantastic JRPG. The gameplay, I wouldn't say, is revolutionary. It's fine. It's standard Tales of Fair, and it does show its age a little bit, given that this game initially came out in 2008. But from a character standpoint, story standpoint, design standpoint, I think Tales of Vesperia is excellent. One of the best main characters out of a JRPG and Yuri, the rest of the cast is really strong. $7.99 for a very lengthy JRPG as well. Uh, good buy here for sure. Next up, we have Metro Redux, 80% off for $5.99. Great price on Metro Redux, which, by the way, just left PlayStation Plus Premium, so it's no longer a part of that subscription service. You'll have to play uh, Metro Redux. You'll have to buy it. Actually, I believe 2033 and Last Light still have, like, a couple more weeks on them, so I lied as far as that's concerned, but they are leaving Plus Premium here very shortly, and once they leave Plus Premium, they're gone for good. Like, it's not one of those PlayStation Plus Essential type things, but Metro Redux is great. 2033 and Last Light are both super atmospheric first-person shooters, narrative-driven, um, you know, not super lengthy games, but compelling first-person titles, and $5.99 is great. I would play all of these games sequentially, 2033, then Last Light, and then ultimately Metro Exodus, so... For $6, great buy here. Next up, we have SteamWorld Dig 2, 70% off for $5.99. This is a tremendous Metroidvania that doesn't get as much love as some other Metroidvanias, but it's got a really good mining style gameplay, fantastic art style. I remember when this game initially came out, it just got stellar reviews, like 9s and 10s from a lot of outlets. So, um, you know, for $5.99, I think it's a really good price if you're a fan of Metroidvanias with a good look. Uh, this is one to check out. Next up, Saints Row the Third Remastered, 85% off for $5.99. $5.99. Saints Row the Third definitely took Saints Row into a more wacky, zany, over-the-top, uh, open-world environment, but that's not necessarily to say that was a bad thing, because Saints Row the Third turned out to be an incredibly popular game, and uh, it is super over-the-top, but if you want an open-world game that you don't have to take too seriously after a long day at work, you can just unwind with some comedy, yeah, Saints Row the Third will definitely offer you that, and at 6 bucks, I think this is a pretty good pickup. Next up, Devil May Cry HD Collection, 67 7% off for $9.89. Now, these games absolutely show their age. A PS2 era uh, action titles, you know, early 2000s, mid 2000s, but Devil May Cry is still a classic franchise that is beloved. Devil May Cry 1 is really good. Devil May Cry 2 is the one that everybody seems to hate, and Devil May Cry 3 is really good as well. Wonky camera angles aside, and, um, you know, some of the elements aren't great, but for $9.89, if you enjoyed DMC 4, if you enjoyed DMC 5 more so, uh, DMC HD Collection is still a good time to go back and play just bear in mind that it is absolutely going to show its age next up borderlands the handsome collection 75 percent off for 9.99 available through plus premium but 
you know, plus premium is what it is. Uh, Borderlands The Handsome Collection is tremendous. You got Borderlands 2 and the pre-sequel and most of the game's respective DLC. The only thing you're missing is uh, the Commander Lilith and the fight for Sanctuary, which, like, who cares about that? But Borderlands 2 is a tremendous game, in my opinion, the best game in the Borderlands franchise, and I'm meaning to do a replay of the game soon, as soon as I complete some other titles, but uh, that's a game that, you know, during a quieter period of game releases, I'm gonna go back and give that another playthrough. Uh, the DLC that is there is good, and then pre-sequel is nothing blow away, but it's fine. It's more Borderlands, and to get all that content for $9.99, like, from a, few, from a sheer value standpoint, this is a tremendous deal, so... $9.99, good price on that. Next up, we got Dragon Age Inquisition Game of the Year Edition. Good pickup for Dragon Age Inquisition, which is a really good open-world RPG. Um, you know, this is a franchise that definitely has seen better days in terms of, um, you know, it's not really in the limelight anymore. Although, a new Dragon Age is in development in Dreadwolf, so we'll see how that turns out. But this was one of the truly first great games of the PlayStation 4 era. I know it did get a PS3 and 360 release, but Inquisition, I thought, was a really solid game. Visually, still looks great gameplay is good and obviously a lot of content game of the year edition will include a sizable amount of additional content as well so uh yeah you'll be busy for quite a while check that one out Next up, we have Fallout 4 Game of the Year Edition, 75% off for $9.99. The base game of Fallout 4 is available on Plus Extra. Game of the Year Edition will give you uh, the DLC content, which is, you know, a mixed bag. But Fallout 4 is a good game. It just had a grandiose level of hype that, you know, it was going to be hard to live up to those kinds of expectations. Obviously, it's got jank. It's got bugginess. You guys know what to expect out of an open-world Bethesda game. Should be noted, this game is ultimately going to get a PlayStation 5 upgrade. I would probably say... Uh, if you're buying the game now and you never played it, maybe wait for that upgrade to drop and then play through the game. And uh, I don't know if this is going to be a Witcher 3 type situation where after the upgrade drops, the game is going to appreciate in its sale price. So, you know, might be a good reason to pick it up from that standpoint as well. $9.99 I think is a pretty good buy. Wolfenstein 2, uh, The New Colossus, a digital deluxe edition, $8.99 base game is available on Plus Extra. This includes, obviously, the base game and all three uh, DLC packs, The Adventures of Gunslinger Joe, The Diaries of Agent Silent Death, and The Amazing Deeds of Captain Wilkins. Uh, I would recommend you to play Wolfenstein The New Order first. Wolfenstein is a good uh, single-player first-person shooter series. Obviously, it has its wackiness to it, for sure, but the gameplay's strong, and overall, it's an enjoyable game that does have an interesting narrative. I think for $9 for the Digital Deluxe, that's a fairly good deal. And I would say pick it up at this price point. Next up, we got Bully. 40% off for $9. Look, yes, this is a PS2 game. Yes, this is in a steep discount, but uh, Bully seems to hold up in price. It's a Rockstar title. You know how Rockstar gonna be, but this is such a charming PS2 game that I hope someday we do get a sequel for. I find it unlikely at this point. It is a little wacky, but um, I think the, you know, just the fear, uh, the pure fun is definitely still there. It shows its age for sure, but uh, still a good game to go through, and for $9, I think this is a pretty good buy. I would say give it a look. Um, I think you'll end up being pleasantly surprised by it, and maybe you'll jump on the on board with the uh, Bully 2, um, you know, <laughs> the begging for Bully 2, I should say. Next up, we got Mega Man X Legacy Collection. 60% off for $7.99. I'll throw a Mega Man 11 in there. Obviously, X, uh, there's a X Legacy Collection 2. Legacy Collection 1 is generally, I think, what people prefer. X1 through 4 are all great games. X5 is pretty good as well. X6, eh. X7, generally considered to be terrible. X8 is pretty good as well. Um, if you do pick up Legacy Collection 1 and 2. Uh, 1 includes 1 through 4. 2 includes 5 through 8. The, the 1 and 2 collection is $16, so not a bad deal. But uh, if you had to pick 1... Legacy Collection 1, the way to go. Mega Man 11, also 67% off for $9.89. A throwback Mega Man title that is modernized to an extent with some more modern visuals. It's good, it plays well, and uh, it's some classic Mega Man if you are looking for that. Not a bad buy at all. Next up, Nino Kuni 2 Revenant Kingdom. A $9.59 on this, 84% off. Not a bad deal for Nino Kuni 2, which I don't think is as strong as Nino Kuni 1, but still a fairly good game. Great art style, obviously. The narrative is compelling. Some new gameplay elements that I wasn't as big of a fan of comparatively to Nino Kuni 1, but, you know, for sub 10 bucks, this is still a really good buy if you're into JRPGs with a charming cast of characters as well. Next up, we have Star Ocean, The Last Hope 4K and Full HD Remaster. Look, atrocious vi uh, uh, voice acting aside, this is a pretty decent JRPG. Some of the cutscenes I felt like were way too long, but uh, overall, the story is somewhat good, and uh, it has some very good-looking environments. For a game that came out in February of 2009, I thought it had a nice diversity of them as well. The gameplay, the action-style gameplay, I thought that is super enjoyable. 8.30 
$39. Good price for this if you are looking for, you know, a somewhat good JRPG. It's from 09. It shows its age for sure, but, um... Yeah, Star Ocean is one of those franchises that is comfortably in, like, that second or third tier of JRPGs. It's never gonna be, uh, for Square Enix, among the Final Fantasies or the Kingdom Hearts, but it's still, uh, a fairly good franchise. And, hey, Last Hope is much better than, uh, Integrity and Faithlessness, so, uh, there you go with that. Lastly, we got some games that are available on Plus Extra. Infamous Second Son... Uh, you can redeem that through the Instant Game Collection, but Infamous Second Son is a great game if you do want to add it to your library. Detroit Become Human, also in the Instant Game Collection if you have a Plus subscription. Uh, 9.99, very good narrative-driven title there, so that's worth a look. And then Shadow of the Colossus, 50% off for 9.99. Team Eco's best outing, in my opinion. A game that was so ahead of its time in that PS2 era, but on the PS4, obviously, the technical limitational shackles come off, and uh, it's still a gorgeous game to look at. The draw distance in this game, the colossal, no pun intended, the colossal battles, uh, it's a really, really solid game, and, uh, you know, I don't know if they're ever gonna do more with SOTC as an IP, but, you know, if this is all we ever get, this was a great time, and $9.99, a good buy on this, but that is gonna do it for me. As always, links to all of these deals will be in the description box below. Go check those out if you are interested. That's gonna do it for me. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching, and Goodbye. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and if you're already subscribed, do us a favor and hit the bell icon. This way you'll be notified whenever we post a new video. That's the best way to keep up with all of our uploads, and we usually try to upload two videos a day. And with the bell icon hit, you'll be notified whenever we do upload a video. As always, thanks for watching.